Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about selling options. Some of the most profitable and productive trading is accomplished through selling options for income. You can make money on the way up and on the way down in any market. By selling options, you control all aspects of your capital, including risk outcomes on particular trades. However, it's critical to understand the amount of money you want to spend as well as timing the best execution or liquidation of the contract. In the past few years, there's been a noted explosion of retail traders in the market. However, most don't understand how risky options can be. The best way to approach options is to understand that option prices deteriorate with time and for the price to come back up, there has to be some explosive movement in the price of the stock. And that is the precise reason why some people only want to sell options instead of buying them. When it comes to options, they are much different than stocks, ETFs, and dividends. When selling options, you have a contract that you can sell to other traders for more than you originally spent on it. In this video, I'm going to talk about selling options on stocks and if it's possible to earn a living doing this. So grab a cup of coffee, like, and subscribe to this channel. And let's go. You can create a steady and consistent revenue stream using option selling. This sentence is somewhat misleading. Yes, you can create a revenue stream using options. However, is it steady? I don't think so. Whether you sell cover calls or cash secure puts, and these are the only ones I recommend selling, there will be times when the stock price will go against you. In other words, you might be making money for some weeks, but then something big happens to the stock price and you will either A, lose your stock, or B, take a loss to end the trade, or C, a sign to buy the stock. In the end, steady income is a misnomer in the options market, and many novice traders for an option seller, all you care about is the premium that you can keep in the end. You don't care about too much about the fundamentals of the stock, but rather the price action of the stock. If a stock is very volatile, then the juicier is the premium you will receive for selling the options. That's why you see many traders selling options on volatile stocks that move very quickly. The traders will still receive a high premium even if the strike price is far away from the current price or what they call out of the money. Selling options is all about probability. The option seller receives the option premium in return for giving the right to the option buyer. The option premium represents the entire income the option seller can hope to achieve, while his losses are theoretically unlimited. The option buyer, on the other hand, can only lose the option premium, while his return is theoretically unlimited. So why would anyone want to sell options? Why doesn't everyone just buy options if they have limited loss and unlimited profit potential? The main reason is probability. Remember that option prices deteriorate with time and if you are a buyer of options, you will have to compete with time and price before the end of expiration. In other words, every day, the buyer will lose value in their option prices unless there is a big move. Just like a casino, the seller of the option or casino house has the upper hand. He knows that the odds are in his favor. Some studies suggest between 75% to 80% of options held to expiration expire worthlessly. This means that option sellers win 75% to 80% of the time. This sounds good, but many fail to realize that the other 20% to 25% when your trade goes wrong or fails, you might have to take a huge loss or have your capital stuck in the stock you don't want. Of course, selling options is not as easy as you think. For every cover call option you sell, and that is a strategy where you own the stock and sell a call option against it, you must be prepared to give up your stock if the option goes in the money. You still keep the premium and the profits of the stock price up to your option strike price, but there is a limited upside to this strategy. Now, this might be good for you, 
But what if you had a cash secure put option and that option goes in the money? You better have the available cash to buy the stock. In other words, when you write a contract, you promise to buy 100 shares of stock in exchange for being paid a premium. So if it goes in the money, um, you better have the money to buy the stock. If the stock is $100 and your option goes in the money, you better have around $10,000 to purchase the stock. Of course, minus the pre premium that you received. As you can see, even though you pay a premium, on your options, you won't feel like you're getting a steady income from selling options if the price action goes against you. Well, what's the bottom line with selling options for a living? Well, the bottom line is that it's not a steady income as you would like. Uh, there will be ebbs and flows in your income stream because sometimes you will have to take a loss for the trade. Um, so it's not like a paycheck from a job or from a dividend payment. So just remember that. Now, there's one good thing about uh, selling calls or puts on the, uh, on the stock. There is something called weekly options. Now, that's a new thing that's been happening with a lot of mainstream stocks where there's a weekly expiration date for these options. And at least with the weeklies, uh, you will get a faster deterioration of these uh, 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 call or put options, which means you'll get more premium and you have maybe a slightly more chance of success with these weekly options. But remember, there is still a real risk of you uh, losing money whether you sold calls or puts on these weeklies. Now, if you sold cash to current puts, you would have been signed the stock if it went into the money. Now, imagine you were doing the strategy from the beginning of 2022, and you know how bad the market has gotten uh, since the beginning of 2022 stocks has been going down and some has been going down as low as 80 percent of their value of the previous so even if you were selling calls against this position you will not be able to sell enough calls to make up for the loss don't believe the so-called gurus that preaches you can replace your income with selling options it's not as easy as you think and it's definitely harder than selling their courses to you well, there you have it. Selling options can provide you with some income, but it's not easy and you better have a backup plan when the trade goes sideways. And make sure you like the stock and are ready to purchase it if assigned because you might have to keep it for a while. I hope this video opens your eyes up about options selling for a living. And until next time, please like and subscribe to this channel for more future videos. And happy investing.